Have you been looking for custom ISO? Are you considering Windows XOS, either 10 or version 11? Well, in today's video, I compared Windows XOS 10 versus 11, the most recent versions there are. So sit down, strap in, and let's go. Right, so the first custom ISO I'm having a look at is Windows XOS 11. It's based on 22H2, not 28, 23H2. I think it was the last build of Windows, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've Before I go through like the optimizations of the pre-baked, I'll just go through the XOS folder here. It just tells you to install your GPU drivers. Um, the README over here just says, after installing XOS, all you need to do is install your drivers, programs, and games, because there have been optimizations pre-installed by Windows XOS. So you can go through that if you do choose to use this operating system. Uh, once you install, uh, it opens up to the welcome, or this welcome note, which is quite nice. Hello, uh, Imri B, yeah? Firstly, thank you for choosing XOS, blah, 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 blah. It just tells you what the optimizations were, etc. cetera. Um, just to let you know, search has been disabled. So if you click on search, it's, it's just gonna close. So if you want to reach your apps, you're going to have to go to all apps over here. And then obviously settings, you just go as per normal. In terms of optimizations, uh, I didn't really go wild above and beyond uh, what they said I should. Just in privacy and security, I disabled all the, the privacy and security things that were enabled. Uh, there were a couple. Um, the things I definitely leave are camera, microphone, voice activation. Um, and yeah, there wasn't really much to do in terms of Windows settings. Uh, the pre-baked um, uh, tweaks, so to speak. Windows features, it's been optimized already, so dot, uh, .NET Framework 3.5 has been added, so you don't need to do anything in Windows features on and off. Uh, Win Error Tweaker, uh, there are a bunch of tweaks pre-baked. I like the fact that they add take ownership to the context menu. That enables me to get rid of Game Boy Presence Writer. UAC is set to uh, off by default. Startup apps is all are disabled. I love the fact that service host or, or not, yeah, service host packets have been diminished by setting split threshold higher than the RAM amount by default. So instead of 70 or 80 odd service host packets, you only start off with about 20. RAM usage is very low. After installing, I'm sitting at 1.8 gigs here. Uh, power options, I love the fact that like, as soon as you uh, do a clean install, you sometimes you have to add in all these options manually. That was done. Um, and obviously I mentioned there's a little note to once you install XRS, as, you, as it opens up Windows for the first time, this note opens up, it's quite a nice touch. Uh, I like the fact that it's got a modified Explorer, very simplistic. Install size is about 20 gigs after install. Device manager, uh, they disabled a couple of things here. Um, system timer, remote desktop device, uh, redirect the bus, high precision event timer. Um, and then they've switched off all the powerment options in the USB root hub, which is pretty cool. Device manager, and then any other thing with the dis uh, high precision event timer and Microsoft G5 wavetable synth. Um, CPU usage is very low, as you can imagine. Only 52 processors as I installed this, um, this custom ISO, which is very nice. Uh, background processors was low, only 12, and then Windows processors were sitting at eight or 12, 38 as I installed. And then I like the fact that um, advanced system settings has already been tweaked. So the first time you open up, it's, it's already gonna be set to best performance with only these options selected. Um, yeah, so guys, I'm gonna move over to Windows 10 now. Windows 10 is probably gonna look very similar to this. So um, yeah, they'll be a little bit shorter and then after that, I'm gonna to get to my results. Right, and that's gonna bring us to the updated Windows 10 XOS version. So guys, this is gonna be a little bit shorter because it's very similar to the little section I did earlier on Windows 11 XOS. There are a few differences in the, um, everything else is the same, but I just wanted to draw attention to this. Windows features on and off, um, uh, the optimizations weren't pre-done. There are some, 
but I had to install the ones that I regularly use with updates. Uh, power options, um, I had to manually add in all those options via um, Tem forums. And then a timer resolution. So, uh, where is it? Yeah, um, uh, obviously with Windows 11, I don't recommend using Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Um, there was a timer resolution service that I set to 0.5 milliseconds. But with Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, I set timer resolution to 0.5. And it's exactly 0.5, not 0.4997, which is the case with normal Windows. Other than that, pretty much everything is the same. So I'm not going to spend too much time on Windows 10. I'm going to swing straight to my results. What I will just go through quickly is, um, yeah, uh, in terms of optimizations, there weren't really much to do. It is a very nice looking op um, operating system. It is very smooth, but you want to know what the performance is like. So let's get to that section. Right guys, and that's gonna bring us to our results. As mentioned, I tested Windows 10 XOS versus Windows 11 XOS, the latest version um, of, those, uh, of that custom OS. And then what I did is I compared that to my Windows optimized um, or my personal build of Windows, which is completely updated to the latest version of Windows with all my optimizations that applied. Um, so let's start off with Windows 10 XOS. Guys, you might see that the results were not so good with XOS this time around, both on 10 and 11. And my suspicions are the fact that because I, because I benchmark every single day, I, I do tons of benchmarks. And I noticed that uh, this week's uh, Windows update increased performance a little bit, whereas last week's or the last two Windows updates have actually decreased performance uh, in general. On, on the Windows platform. So my suspicions are that Windows XOS 10 and Windows XOS 11 is actually based on one of those Windows updates where Windows lost a bit of performance. Um, and because Windows XOS recommends that you don't update Windows, um, you're actually getting a little bit less performance on both the version 10 and 11, which is kind of counterintuitive because when I previously uh, benchmarked Windows XOS, 10 about a month and a half two months ago it actually performed better than my windows optimized so i'm not bashing on windows xos i just think the current version of windows that windows xos is based on is actually uh, one with less performance and that's why my results are as follows so guys um windows xos 10 over those i think it was 30, 12 games i add up all my average fps and i got to 799 oh sorry all my games are tested in medium settings, with the exception of the newer games. I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So um, the new games from this year, I have to play on low settings. Where if this are 2.0, 2.1 is available, use a quality setting. I do test on a GTX laptop. So if you're on an RTX system or a, 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 a laptop with a, with a 12th generation CPU or RTX GPU, your results will completely vary from mine because um, yeah, it's a setup completely differently. So it interacts with operating system and, and drivers completely differently. And then late, uh, lastly, I use the latest NVIDIA driver 546.17 for my testing. So guys, on XOS 10, over those 12 games, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to 799. When I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 592. And when I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get to 508. So you can see it's quite a big drop from my own Windows 10, just with optimizations in it. Uh, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to 800, so no change in average FPS. But when I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 619. So that's quite a big chasm. That's 27 FPS missing. So um, I have to uh, draw attention to the fact that God of War, no matter what it did on Windows XOS 10, the 1% lows were atrocious. So that's the big game where there's a massive big difference in Windows XOS. No matter what it did, God of War just performed terribly on that system. Doesn't matter, matter how long I waited for shaders or anything, the 1% the lows were terribly bad. 
So I think Windows XOS 10, the latest version, is actually based on the Windows 10 uh, update that had, didn't have that great of performance. Because if you have a look at my previous video, I highly recommended Windows XOS. And then same goes for Windows XOS 11, must be something to do with the updates because when I add up all the average FPS, see there's no difference in terms of average FPS between any of these operating systems. But whereas the 1% lows are better than XOS 10, they're still worse than Windows 10, uh, just my most recent updated Windows 10 with optimizations. When I add up all the 1% lows, I get to 612. And then when I add up all the 0, 1% lows, I get to 529. So a little bit less than my regular version of Windows 10 and quite a bit better than uh, XOS 10. So guys, I'm not bashing XOS. Um, the last time I did a video on XOS, it pretty much performed better than any custom ISA I'd ever tested. I just think that XOS 10 and XOS 11 are based on Windows builds with inferior performance. Uh, maybe it was the what the uh, Windows up, uh, what the, the OS was updated to at that point in time. But yeah, um, the one percent lows in both these operating systems aren't that great, as well as the zero point one percent lows. So if you are on Windows XOS ten, um, the latest update of Windows actually did improve performance a little bit. So I'd recommend switching on updates and just updating your system. Um, we're just completing all the updates on XOS and then from there um, switching off updates again because the, the Windows version is currently on has got slightly inferior performance. Anyways, um, I know this is not what some of you want to hear but I just relay facts. I'm not trying to blow my own horn. I'm just giving you the numbers. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always guys, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's Friday. Have a good weekend. It's people like you. Cheers.